Hey, it's me again. Hi, everybody. It's me again. I know that I disappeared for a little while there. Um, so for whoever is watching my vids, I'm really glad that you came back. Uh, or came, I guess, because you may not have seen the first one. But if so, you should check that out. It was my very first video that I went ahead and put on YouTube. Went through a lot of deleting <laughs> until I got there. Um, so what I'm going to do for this video is there's not really much for me to do to prepare for my DCP right now and I finished my homework for today and tomorrow and so I'm just kind of like well, what do I do now I like I could be studying Chinese but not so that's that I'll probably do it later I'll do it later I'll, like watch a movie in Chinese or something so what I'm gonna talk about today is showing your Disney side and um, Disney bounding. So I love Disney side and Disney bounding. I think that they're both so awesome. And so what's going on is that my family really wants to come see me at my DCP since I'll be down there for Christmas. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on my mom's Christmas present. So for my DCP, I am making myself a um, a little skimmer hat. It's like the Mary Poppins hat when for It's a Jolly Holiday. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my mom It's a Jolly Holiday Minnie Mouse headband. Um, chances are she'll wear it for a picture once and then put it in the backpack and be done with it. But it'll be a really cute picture and I know that she'll love them and she'll probably hang them up on the wall. And so what I'm thinking, what I'm gonna do is whenever I took my straw hat it was this big floppy hat from Walgreens, and it was five ninety nine. Uh, it's five for it's two for ten if you go ahead and do that. So I would recommend doing that if you wanted to make a skimmer hat. I might uh, make a tutorial on how to do that later. It's just something I found on a uh, Lolita blog, and I'm super into Lolita fashion, so you'll hear me talk about that probably a lot, especially in later videos when I start talking about makeup tutorials and how to how to feel like you're participating in the Lolita fashion when you can't actually participate. And so I. I really should make that video. I'll probably post that one today. I'll make it. Um, what was I even talking about? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. So from my floppy hat, I, I had to take off about two inches of the outer brim so it didn't look silly whenever I took the cone and turned it into a flat shape because that took off a lot of space. And so... Um, yeah, I'll show that later when I've finished sewing it because I'm in the process right now of sewing the hat back so it's flat on the top, like, because I had to take apart the whole thing. And so you unravel it and it ends up being like this. I went ahead and got tan ones because I love creams and browns and pinks and mint. I love mint, the color, oh, and mint, the flavor. Honestly, mint flavoring is fantastic. Don't like it with chocolate, though, which is odd. Or, like, with cream-based things. I don't know. That just is weird to me. I like it with lemon. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're taking all these little plastic threads. If you can see that, barely, that little, it's a, that's a plastic thread. And it's really just held together by... A, the weaving, and B, the plastic thread. And so whenever you cut it off, you're either going to have actual thread or plastic thread, depending on where you got your straw hat and, you know, the maker and the quality. I'm not saying that plastic thread has lower quality, but quality will have to do with, like, how much string there is and how hard it is to cut. And if it's actually just entirely woven out of one piece which if that's the case you can't do this so I would recommend going and finding a cheaper hat so and honestly you don't want to cut up an expensive hat to begin with not that 599 is all that cheap I mean it's cheap for what it is but it's still not like oh I'm just gonna go buy 20 of these no it's not 
like that at all. If you can find them at the dollar store, I would recommend that. Um, so what I'm going to do is right now I'm just thinking about spatial reasoning. And so I probably won't actually sew this together in this video, but I will um, keep you guys updated. And same with my hats as I work on making more hats because I'd really like to make a hat for each of my family members that's going to go. That way everyone can have their own little personal hat to do with their favorite movie or like we all have different nicknames. So something to do with that. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to get a starch piece or actually I'm probably just going to sew it. So what it's going to do is it's going to create this little band here. And so I'll sew it in the back and we will come up and I'll put a stitch here and from there I'll create a big loop and go over create ooh, and create another big loop and so basically what it's gonna be is it's gonna be two large mini ears and I, I might actually get mason jar rings and use those to create the stiff pattern and then just wrap this this around it and then glue it to a headband kind of like that you see you get you get the point right so you're just gonna keep wrapping that mason jar lid like a band-aid but it's gonna start doing that number so it just twirls around and so from there what I want to do is I want to make both ears this wicker um, straw combo and once I make the ears which means like next week when I go to the thrift store and pick up stuff to make ears with the head not the headband but I'll probably get that from the dollar store but the mason jar lids and um, I'm going to have to make sure that I take a picture with me but I want to take some white tulle fabric and a couple things that are reminiscent of her 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 dress and the hat toppings that Mary has and make those the bow in the middle so there will be a cute little bow in the center and so that's what I want to do for my Minnie Mouse ears. And so the real, the, the thing about this is, is that this is what I'm getting into, is that's how I'm gonna show my Disney side because my mom is a lot like Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way. She's pretty fantastic. And if you knew her, you would definitely agree. Um, so I really want to give her something that she can use to show her Disney side, even if she doesn't do but take one picture with it I think that it would be really great because that's the kind of thing that my mom likes and that is what Disney site is about it's taking the part of you that is Disney and making it so everyone everyone knows and can feel it from you um and then I'm going to get into Disney bounding now. So Disney bounding is this new, relatively new phenomena where people like to take normal clothes, like adults. And I guess, I don't know, more, more kids just wear costumes because kids are allowed to wear costumes. Adults, however, we're not allowed to wear costumes because of safety reasons and for, um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Look look it up on the website it has it much better in much better wording than I can spit right now my brain to mouth connectivity is just filtering out and I'm really sorry for anyone who um yeah I don't know how to video edit so you get to listen to all of my rambling <laughs> have fun with that um so basically the idea is that you are in costume without being in costume that way you don't confuse kids as to who is the character and it keeps who 
like if you are dressed up like Ariel, you don't want them to think that you're Ariel because Ariel is Ariel. That's that's the way it is. And so it's 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 to not mess it up for kids and it's so adults can have fun too because some people are a little shy to wear costumes and, and things like that. And so a really big thing about Disney bounding is just being showing your Disney side. <laughs> they tie in and so what I I have a dress that I like to use for that I am planning on using for Disney bounding with a couple alterations so let me get it real quick it's awful pretty in my opinion but I really like the movie Cinderella whenever I go out at night my mom is always like be home by midnight Cinderella or text me by midnight if you're gonna be out past then Cinderella and all those things and so what I really want to do is I want to do Cinderella's pink dress as kind of a Disney bound is her pink dress inspired so here's the dress it's just a strap dress with a little bit of bunching and some lace here and then at the bottom it's got some sparrows and flowers and more lace and so what I want to do is I would like to add um, find some material that either is like this lacing and make just flowing sleeves that come to about here just because I like that and, or pink sleeves that match the material because that's what makes me comfortable is to have sleeves and so it's inspired by Cinderella and so what I would do is I would do get her pink hair bow and put her hair bow in and maybe get shoes that look like the shoes that she's wearing in that scene I also would like to put possibly a clip on white bow here or even just fill in this part with a white sash or put a bow here and sew it so it falls in the right place just very specifically and so that that's a way to Disney bound is to just take your what you want from a character and make it so so if you want to be Sully from Monsters Inc I would wear like a cute blue shirt and some pur purple shorts maybe some yeah. Sorry, my roommate is coming in. Say hi, Kelly. Hi. Um, so, and just tennis shoes that would make you feel like Sully if you wanted to get Monsters, Inc. tennis shoes or whatever. And the park sells Sully Mickey ears and all these different things and accessories that you can use to Disney bound. So you can get your Disney bounds at the parks or wherever you want. In fact, for a while they were selling a Minnie Mouse dress for adults. It was red with black polka dots and it had a cameo on the bow on this on the stomach part like mid stomach i forgot the word for that moving on so that basically disney bounding is just whatever makes you feel like the character and makes you feel closer to the parks and it's typically something a little nicer than a fanny pack and my in like gross green painted paint stained cargo shorts which I admittedly have worn to the park I liked them I still like them they're very cool and excuse me whew, if you're not if you're not taking pictures with characters then you know wear whatever you want if you're taking pictures with characters wear whatever you want it's all a, it's all about you being comfortable but it's also about other guests comfort so just whenever you're Disney bounding, make sure that it makes you happy and that you're not breaking any like costume rules because you want to enjoy the park and you want to have the most fun that you can. And so for those of you who don't, who still don't feel like Disney bounding is a thing for you, it doesn't have to be. If you still want to show your Disney side without dressing inspired by a character, you can. They have plenty of things. They have hats at Disney that have like the monorail por favor mantengo alejado de las puertas I please step away from the doors I I don't even I don't know I'm gonna have to look that up I'm gonna open open a video with that someday I will be able to say it so 
that this video is getting really long so I'm sorry guys I'll wrap it up um, if you have any more questions for me about you know wearing like clothes to wear in the parks or good ideas for shoes not new ones um, that that's I'm just gonna throw that out there right now not new ones um, but I do have ideas for shoes if you want to like <sighs> It's hard to explain. Just leave it in the comments if you have any questions for me. Uh, I'm going to wrap this video up now. I'll see you guys. I hope you have a lot of fun. I hope you have a magical day. Good luck with your Disney bounds. And leave stuff in the comments so I can make more videos for you. Bye.